How much do you need to make in order to comfortably afford the Tesla Cybertruck? Let's find out. Okay, so there's three different options to the Tesla Cybertruck. There's the Cyber Beast, which is the high-end tri-motor option. There's the all-wheel drive dual motor option. And then in 2025, there will be a rear-wheel drive single motor option. But let's take a look at the Cyber Beast. That's the one that everybody is talking about and the one that's being shown in all the demos and everything. And that has a starting price of $99,990. It has a stainless steel exterior, so no paint, which means it helps with dents, scratches, and corrosion. It also has a shatter-resistant armor glass an 11,000 pound towing capacity, a six foot by four foot tough bed that doesn't need any liner, a 2,500 pound payload, 67 cubic feet of lockable storage, about 340 miles of range on a single charge, as well as up to 136 miles on about 15 minutes of supercharging. Has an 18.5 inch touchscreen display in the front seat, as well as a 9.4 inch touchscreen display in the back seat. Wireless charging, USB-C and outlets to charge all of your devices, whether you're in the front seat, the back seat, or in the bed of the truck. It goes zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds, 15 speakers, as well as an all glass roof. And there are additional add-ons and features that you can choose when you are configuring your Cybertruck, such as the light bar that you can have installed on the front, which lights about 525 yards in front of you, a tent for the bed of the truck that pumps up in just a few minutes, as well as a range extender, which is installed into the bed of the truck. It does take up some storage space, but it also allows for up to 470 miles of total range. So we're gonna take a look at this one a little bit differently because I can't see exactly what the delivery charges or additional fees may be because the way that Tesla has it set up is you make a $250 refundable deposit on their website, which then allows you to receive the things that you need in order to configure the Cybertruck of your choice. And that is where you are able to see all the specific fees and delivery charges and things like that. So I can't take those into consideration. And if there's any specific cars, trucks, SUVs, etc., that you wanna know specifically for your circumstances, or if there's anything of my equipment or setup that you wanna know more about, you can go to the link in my bio and all of that is there for you. But we're gonna see as close as possible as to what this might look like and how much it might cost to afford the Tesla Cybertruck. Just keep in mind that there will be additional charges that I will not be mentioning that will be added on if you were to follow through with the order process. But to get an idea of what we're looking at, if we don't include any add-ons and we look at about an 8.3% sales tax rate, then you would be paying about $8,299.17 in sales tax, which would then bring your total to about $108,289.17. And if you were to put a 10% down payment, that would be $10,828.92 that you would be putting down. And I typically use about a 7% APR, but I get a lot of you saying that that is too high and that you've never seen it that high and that that's an unrealistic APR to have. But considering that the average APR on a new auto loan is currently between 5% and 14%, I'm going to land in about the middle and go with about 9% APR on this one. I'm also going to consider 60 month financing, which is a total of five years, which means that the monthly car payment would be about $2,023.11. And during the time of that loan, you would pay a total of $23,926.62 in total interest. But as you all know, that is not everything that goes into the cost of a car. So we do have to add in some other factors. There isn't yet a confirmed rate for insurance on the Tesla Cybertruck, but the most recent average full coverage cost for a Tesla is between $2,400 to about $3,300 annually. So we're gonna land on the high end for the other models, but because it is expected to be a little bit higher, we're gonna land on about $3,500 annually, which is about $291.67 a month for insurance on the Tesla Cyber Beast. As far as the cost for charging, this is gonna vary depending on how many miles you're replacing, how much you charge it to, which level of charging you choose, and multiple other factors. But on average, it's said to cost about $4.84 for about 100 miles of range, which means that it would take somewhere around $16.46 to charge fully. And if you take into consideration that the average person drives about 1,200 miles per month, or about 15,000 miles per year, then it would cost you about $58.09 a month in charging costs. Like I said, there is limited information on the long term of the Cybertruck, but the average maintenance cost for Tesla models is about $832 a year or about $69.34 a month. And based off of the specs of the Cyber Beast, I'm gonna assume that there are some things that are gonna be a bit more costly to maintain, but that there's gonna be a lot of things that are not really necessarily to replace or repair in most situations. 
So I am gonna use the average maintenance cost across the Tesla models. And if you were to add all these costs up, then you would be at about $2,442.21 a month to maintain the cost of the Tesla Cyber Beast. So if you wanted it to be a comfortable cost and you put it at about 15% of your average income, then you would need to be making about $195,376.80 annually in order to keep it at that comfortable 15%. And just to put that in perspective, if you were to have the Cyber Beast for just the five years that you're financing it, and you were to pay that same monthly cost to maintain for the entire 60 months, plus your 10% down payment, then you would pay a total of $157,361.52 total over the course of those five years for the Tesla Cybertruck. And there's a lot of people talking about the actual starting price of the Tesla Cybertruck that's actually over 50% higher than what was initially projected in 2019. But in my opinion, if you take into consideration the current cost of the competing electric vehicles, say for example, the current Ford F-150 Lightning, which ranges from about 50,000 to 90,000, depending on which trim level you get. And then you have the Tesla Cybertruck, which ranges from about 60,000 to 100,000 and take into consideration all of the specs of this truck. Personally, I do think it is a pretty fair price, strictly considering the current competing prices. I will do more updated videos on the Cybertruck lineup as more information becomes available for the long term, as well as once we get closer to the 2025 rear wheel drive base model. And if you like this video, give me a follow and let me know which ones you want to see next.